What is going on guys? You're watching another episode of Tightline TV and today me and my buddy, I actually have him as my cameraman right now, are headed down to a pond to try something that I've kind of wanted to try for a while and have yet to get the opportunity to and that's basically to see if pond bass will actually annihilate a giant swim bait. So we're going to be taking everything from like a 6 ounce line through trout on up to a 16 ounce line through trout to see if you know there's big enough bass in there to absolutely just annihilate one of these baits. So you know the majority of the bass that I catch out of there are pretty much this size so this should be interesting. So we're going to load everything up, go to the pond and uh, see if they can handle something like this. Put this one up. So basically here's what I have going on here. Got everything. So they're literally musky rods that I'm fishing here. These things are literally, <laughs> uh, this is a medium heavy St. Croix Mojo Muskie. And then we have a media, or uh, extra heavy uh, Abu Garcia Veritas Toro. And obviously because I'm throwing giant baits, it's, you don't want to use a bass rod or anything like that. So oh, I don't know if this is going to produce at all, but this guy is going to be the ticket. I can guarantee it. So. Hey guys, so we're here at the pond and right off the bat, I'm gonna start with the smaller swim bait. Basically, this is just a seven inch Savage Gear line through trout. If you guys have never seen these before, basically they're just, uh, this one in particular is designed to swim just a little bit under the surface, almost like a top water, but obviously not. And uh, basically how you rig these things up is you have a, I use a fluorocarbon leader, and because I use this for musky, I have a 60 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, and that's actually lighter than I normally use. So it's a little bit hefty for the, these pond bass, but I didn't feel like re-rigging it. Um, and it has a hidden treble hook in the top. So basically, this treble hook is designed to sit in the top of the bait so that when the fish hits it, this bait pulls away, or the hook pulls away from the bait so that you, know, you can get a better hook set and you're not having a full bait in the fish's mouth and you're not destroying your bait, et cetera. So I've never tried bass fishing with one of these. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, this is Ohio, so we don't have huge bass. So this is gonna be just really interesting. I don't know, we'll see if they have just a big appetite because it's fall. This is that time of year that they're just trying to nail up or uh, maybe it's just a musky bait and this is gonna be a complete fail. So here goes nothing. These things, the action, everything is insane. But like, I don't know if, I mean, I know you guys are out there and down south and stuff in like Texas where you guys can fish baits like these and it's gonna do you well but I don't know we're gonna see what happens so if there's a bass savage enough to eat this it's probably gonna be big I could see a three pounder eating this too I mean a lot of guys fish with bluegills so like why if they have a big enough appetite to eat a bluegill they should eat this giant shad oh dude Oh my gosh, I just got whacked by a monster bass. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh my gosh. That thing was easily four pounds. Easily. Oh, he missed it though. He ate the whole bait. I, I'm like tweaking out over here. Come back, Bertha. That was like third cast. I did not expect to break a fish that big. I thought over here for sure would have been the spot, but. And again, I am fishing an enormous bait, so it's like, <laughs> my odds aren't going to be good. I mean, I, I don't expect to catch the numbers by any means. I just, yeah, I'm trying to get like, oh, did you see that? <laughs> well, I just got whacked. Not that one wasn't big, though. Just for a couple casts over here, because I can get it deep. I, <laughs> I don't have too big expectations for this thing whatsoever but just for fun. Whip that thing out there. Oh, baby. And just crank her in. If I get hit on this, I don't know what to think. These bass are just like mammoth eaters. It's gonna be like an eight pounder and those don't even exist. No way. No way a bass is going to want to eat that. Alrighty guys, so it's actually getting pretty dark out. So far we're unsuccessful. I did get one whack on the small swim bait, but you know, we've only been out here like an hour so far. So uh, we're actually, I'm going to pack it up for tonight and I'm going to continue this on tomorrow. Right now I'm going to go watch the tribe game. 
and it's starting to rain. I can't really film in the rain, so uh, it's just getting nasty out. So uh, we're gonna continue this tomorrow, guys, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of hours, I guess, so. What's going on, guys? We are back. It is day number two of trying this uh, pond swim bait challenge kind of ordeal that I'm doing here. Uh, yesterday I came out here for about, let me get these rods out real quick, hold on. Okay, try, try and multitask here when you have huge equipment. But yesterday I came out here with a buddy, I tried to have him film for me uh, to make it a little bit easier, but by the time I get off work and by the time we got here and try to make things happen, we usually don't get much too, we don't get too much time to fish. So uh, basically we're gonna go here and do this again. Yesterday in the first couple of casts, I got whacked. So I'm really hoping that fish is still there. It's still gloomy as heck out. You know, I love fishing this weather. No problem with it. Usually the bite's a lot better and the fish are usually bigger, but if it does rain, it sucks for filming. So I don't know, I kind of hope it doesn't rain. I hope we just kind of keep this like post storm overcast ordeal. And uh, I don't know. So hopefully we can, I don't know. I mean, if you guys really think you can catch big bass on a swim bait in a pond, like this is putting it to the test. Like, look at this. And yesterday, I actually got here a little bit earlier than yesterday, so I have a lot more time to actually work this pond today, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna roll with it, so. Well, so far, not so hot. I did get a fish yesterday there. Well, I got into one. So right now I'm headed down to a different pond. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so freaking exhausted from today, but we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep pushing because you know why? Because we gotta get that bite. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring the mega swim bait with me. I know you guys are probably like, oh, that's, I really wanna see you catch a fish on that. Maybe another day, I don't know. So we're gonna try the small one, walk around this next pond before it gets dark and Hope for the best, I guess, so it's his bait. I'm really trying to get a fish for this video because I wanted to prove this theory wrong, but I don't know. I'm being optimistic, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All righty, let's see. If I were meant to catch a tank, I guess we're gonna get one, so. Oh, I'm, I, I really wish I hooked that one yesterday. That thing was, it looked huge, but. All right, all right, where to fish at, where to fish at? This lake's actually at a decent level. Like, it's like Duck Central, though. I don't know what that's about. It's, I guess, I guess I'm gonna get beat by this, uh, it's a little challenge here. So, we're gonna pack it up, get on out of here. Oh, alrighty guys, so unfortunately we're gonna put an end to this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little disappointing because I couldn't actually get into a fish. You know, fishing giant swim baits with the amount of time that I have every day after work, I didn't expect much. But you know what, let me not get hit by this pizza man, hold on. Boom, boom, boom. If you guys want me to try and do this challenge again and spend a whole day and actually commit to catching a big bass on a swim bait, I'll do that for you guys. I know it's possible. The overall goal with this video was to be able to show you guys the reward with fishing a giant swim bait uh, along with, you know, the ability that it takes to physically do that. Uh, obviously, it's time consuming and it just, it's not consistent. So that was the point I was trying to get across, but I don't know, it was fun to try and do. You gotta work for it, what are you gonna do? It's getting dark, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. So hit that subscribe button guys for me, and uh, I don't know, we'll catch you later with the next video. So, we'll see you later.